Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to build a simple 3D printer enclosure that uses no hinges, can be scaled to any size, and is sturdy enough to stack material on. In the past I made a big enclosure that was built out of wood and I could barely see into. It was super heavy and awkward to move. At one point I even made a temporary plastic enclosure with tubing. This time around, I sat down and designed a 3D printer enclosure that's easy to build, use, and even take apart when you need to. Instead of buying new sheets of plexiglass, which is expensive, I happen to have these old sheets lying around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design the enclosure to work with what I've got. Now, these sheets are 32 inches by 32 inches, and my Ender 3 with an Ender Extender Kit needs it to be about three feet deep. So I'm gonna have to add a bit to one side of this plexiglass in order for it to fully cover the enclosure. Now, I don't know what your experience is with plexiglass, but I tend to always shatter it when I try and drill through it or end up snapping some weird piece off. So because of that, I'm not gonna install hinges. I actually think I'm gonna do some sort of sliding mechanism on the doors. The good thing about designing it on Fusion 360 is I can measure each component and take that measurement, draw it on a piece of plywood, and then use a skill saw to cut it out. All the pieces are cut, so now we need to cut a groove for the plexiglass to slide in along. Now, the plexiglass is an eighth of an inch thick, and the saw blade is an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm gonna do a couple passes, just so I have enough clearance, so hopefully it doesn't bind. My enclosures are roughly three feet by three feet, and that's a problem because my doors are 29 inches. So in order for me to be able to get the enclosure in and out of the house and around the house, I need to disassemble and reassemble it. Screws aren't the best option for that, so what I'm gonna use is actually knife inserts instead. Knife inserts go into wood, and they allow you to bolt things together. Got it all assembled, time to disassemble it, move it in the house, and then reassemble it, only to disassemble it again.
turns out I forgot a hole for the wires, a holder for the filament, and a handle for the plexiglass. So there ended up being a little flex in this design of spool holder. Now I'm not really worried about that. What I was more focused on is the ability to slide it out and then pull the 3D printer out and slide it back in. Almost forgot one thing. In an upcoming video, I'm gonna work on getting the exhaust from here to way over there. When that video is uploaded, it'll be somewhere on the screen. Thanks so much for watching.